All right, welcome, welcome. Let's get this started. Opening day for season three. Only the second season that we actually play games because we simmed the first season so we could move the team. So, uh, hey, we won a World Series accidentally. <laughs> Was not expecting that in the least. And... Uh, why we didn't do a lot of uh, changes in the off season um we uh this is not no trades the only thing we did here was to uh claim bobby miller off waivers dodgers Tried to sneak him down to the minor leagues. He was out of options, and we snagged him. And uh, then we sent Mitch Spence to AAA, where he can learn how to pitch better. And we're going to go with Bobby Miller. There we go. Burns, Garcia, Freed, Estes, and Bobby Miller. We're going to slot him at number five, try and get him some better uh, matchups. Rasmussen's now our long reliever. Pretty much the same rest of the bullpen. And uh, lineup-wise, we brought everybody back. Soderstrom's going to start the season at first base this year. So, and we still have Adele and Nevin. Um, Brett Harris is on the team now. And uh, Rosario is still hanging around. We'll see how that goes. Um, our top prospects... Iwamura, we just drafted. Ferris, we traded for. We don't have a lot of high-quality pitching prospects yet. Some of these guys we just added, like this was our first-round pick uh, this last season. So, got to get them going, get them upgraded. We do have two really good closers that are young. Roy Hobbs is going to start the year in AAA. Try and get his clutch up. Um, Dalton Rushing, he's... Uh, Two out of three options, so he's getting to the point where we're going to have to bring him up. So I would imagine this will be the last year for Kyle McCann. Uh, we did trade for Daryl Burden, who we almost drafted last draft. Swapped him, got for him. Kurtz is uh, pretty well-rounded. He's he's going to be chilling for one more year in AAA, and then we'll bring him up. Um, Fiore may not spend the entire season down at AAA. We've got to get his his contact and power against righties up. Um So since we won and it was not expected that we would win, um, we don't need to do a ton of team building at this point. Team is pretty set. So what we're going to do this year is focus less um, on the major leagues. We will do more player locks and full games with our minor league prospects. Uh, doesn't mean we won't play major league games. We will play them, but we're not going to do two full games or even three full games on stream until we get to the playoffs. Uh, we'll be spending more time down at the minors. So we'll have some fun with Zach Veen, Emmanuel Rodriguez, um, maybe Gregorio Moya, Jacob Wilson, definitely with Fiore and Kurtz, and then uh, rushing and then pitching-wise. Um, we'll probably have to go to double A to pitch with some of these guys. Hinkle and Brecht, Ferris, Iwamura. So, so we'll do the position players at triple A. We'll do some pitchers at double A. And, uh, while we're talking about triple A and double A, there's a guy out on, uh, in, in the vault. I saw a post on Reddit. Um, he created all of the minor league uh, stadiums, double A AA and triple A stadiums for all the major league teams. So I went and downloaded the Las Vegas and the uh, Midland, Texas ballparks. So our double A, triple A will be their actual ballparks. So that'll be fun to play in those. And I did something else. I moved the White Sox into the ballpark that Gopper Gaming created. So they're not in their current normal stadium. And I moved the Tampa Rays to the ballpark that I made for them. 
And I don't think we moved anybody in the National League. I think it was just the two American League teams. Double check. Yeah. So when we go to Tampa and we go to Oakland and we go to the White Sox, we'll be playing in parks that, that Gopper made and I made. And uh, we'll get to see some different stadiums that way. So, um, scouts again, we have a 94 discovery scout. We also have a 95 efficiency with 97 pitching, 91 position player scout, 97 efficiency with 93, 93. So they can both scout hitters, both scout pitchers. Seeing as how we need pitching more, I will be focusing this draft on pitching. Um, and I'm, I'm going to do an experiment here where I'm going to put him on discovery for one region while these two guys um, scout uh, the same region. So basically we're gonna we're gonna crush an entire region in three weeks pitching. So instead of having to go five weeks for one region, we're gonna finish it off at three so we can finish off two full regions and then, We'll get them done in six weeks. <laughs> Army. Sorry about that. Um, so that'll give us eight weeks to go after individual pitchers and some individual hitters. Once we're done um, discovering... Uh, pitchers for these regions then i will have them start discovering hitters and uh, if we find a stud then we'll be able to to go uh, scout them out but i'm going to focus on pitching and see if we can't get us a uh, really good pitching prospect at the end of the first round um, i think we might get an extra pick i don't remember from the ppi i don't remember I don't think we had a rookie, but I mean, we'll we'll see. Once we get into the scouting right here, once it unlocks, then we'll be able to uh, look at what draft picks we have. But we're going to pick at the end of the first round, so it's going to be the best player available. Um, even if it's another reliever, I don't care. You can always move the closers to relievers, so we're just going to get as much pitching as we can on this team. So... That said, um, we're going to start with the Pirates, and we'll play this full game against Paul Skeens, and then we'll get into, uh, um, we'll go down to AAA here and play that game with Fiori. <clears throat> and like I said, we're going to do more simming on the net, on the uh, Major League side and more, more actual player lock stuff done in AAA and AA this year. So anyway, we'll get through this entire month. We we'll get a lot of uh, games played. So this this series in the White Sox here, we'll see the new ballpark that we have for the White Sox. And when do we get Tampa Bay? Down here in June. We'll play a full game at Tampa Bay in June. So you can see the ballpark I made. Um, so um, when do we play Oakland? We'll play them for a while. No, we're we're Oakland. What am I saying? I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm brain dead. We're Oakland. Never mind. <laughs> All right, let's get in here and get playing. Home game against Paul Skeens and the uh, Pirates, who I think have Soto. For some reason, he always signs with them. They're gonna wear their blacks. We'll wear ours. We'll get going. So. All right. This is what the White Sox park looks like when we go there. And this is what this is what the Tampa Bay one, the uh retractable dome one that I made. So and then here's the Midland Texas double A park for us and the 
Las Vegas AAA park for us. So I did a couple of minor um, edits to our home ballpark. Nothing major. Um, we used to have brick um, behind home plate and down the foul lines, and, and then it would change to padded wall around the corner. And I just made everything except behind home plate padded green, and then behind home plate, it's still brick. Yeah, moved some signs a little bit here and there, and deleted some buildings that were behind the stands that you couldn't see to free up some memory. So, what's up, Batten? How you doing, man? So, as I was saying, we're gonna we're gonna do uh, more player locks down in AAA and AA this year, and more simming on the major league side. Um, we've got at least five hitters down at AAA that would be fun to play. Most of our best pitching prospects are down at AA, so we'll go down there for that. And we're going to highly focus on pitching in the draft. I have two scouts that can scout both hitters and pitchers very well, so we're going to double up. Um, we're going to put both pitchers in the same region at the same time, so we get done with that region in three weeks. And then we'll move them both to another region. And so we'll be done with two whole regions in six weeks. And it gives us eight weeks to scout individual players and uh, hitters. So individual pitchers and some hitters. Hopefully our discovery guy can find some hitters um, to give us other options. But... Uh, we are... Uh, We're going to focus on pitching as much as we can. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pat, and I made a couple of minor changes to the stadium. We've got brick behind home plate. We used to have brick down the baseline and, until it got to the corner. And I changed it to the green padding like the outfield wall, except for behind home plate. So. And we're getting the foul balls like crazy with the first batter of the game. It's just ridiculous. He, you got better wheels than he does. There we go. And I will show you the uh, Labatt Park before I uh, turn off the stream today. Um, it's not the final, final version, but it's better than, I don't know. He went down and hit a low changeup out. Um, but I totally redid right field and redid some other things. And like, I, I had it in a finished state and I went back and removed a whole bunch of crap and started all over again on the outfield. So yeah. need to give us more options for, uh, buildings and stuff that don't eat up a ton of memory too. Be nice if they get rid of the uh, collision on the outfield walls and the uh, batter's eyes, so we can put stuff much more uh, tight than we can at the moment. Oh, hey, Batten, wife got a job. There you go. Making less than she did before, but it's a job, it's insurance, and it's still really good pay, so. You now we just gotta work on me. Jesus. Why is it the computer pictures snag everything and we just take shit off our shins or off our forehead all the time and can't field? So tired of the imbalance on defense and franchise. Ah. Alright. We have a home run on a low changeup. All right. 
There's no changes out there that you can notice right away, other than the two little ribbon uh, scoreboards I had on either side of the out of town scoreboard. There was a gap, and I pushed them together so it's all one thing. It's where it says Rosario over there. I uh, pushed it all together to make it one grouped item, easier to adjust. Didn't do a whole lot of adjusting anywhere else. Ah, it broke his bat. got Pete betting at the top of the order this year instead of the bottom trying to get his uh, speed in play. Yeah, kind of pulled that. Hardy. 102 at the knees is tough. Ooh, got that one. And we're not late on 101. <laughs> a little too early on that one. Otherwise, we have a tie game. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I have it up on my Twitter right now. I was going to talk about that. Man, Fred's a fucking idiot. <clears throat> you got a bunch of people who never played the sport trying to change the rules of a great game. I was watching uh, Wade Boggs and Chipper Jones and Roger Clemens and Matt LaCroix and a whole bunch of major leaguers tweeting about it on Twitter saying how fucking stupid it is. So Clemens is like so... If I strike out Otani with the bases loaded, that means they could do the golden rule and I'd have to face Otani again? How fair is that? Yeah, it's, it's fucking stupid. Everything they've done, the, the runner, extra running runner, all that shit they added during COVID is fucking stupid. Quit messing with the game. Here we go, four, six, or six, four, three. I saw a stat the other day. Someone was complaining that there was was nobody who struck out 240 batters last year. Well, Spencer Strider was out for the year, so that took away the main guy that would have struck out 240. But the reason why they don't strike out nearly as many, despite strikeouts being up, is these guys don't pitch seven and eight innings, right? So they don't get... 10, 11, 12, 15 strikeouts in a game because they're only pitching five innings. <clears throat> Quit focusing on miles per hour. Get rid of the stupid pitch limit and let these guys throw. One ball, no strike. Don't rely on 15 middle relievers and just churning through relievers. One ball, one strike. Game was better in the 70s and 80s, way better. And there was only one 50 home run batter in the 70s and 80s. <laughs> George Foster's Reds in 77. We didn't, we didn't need a shit ton of home runs. We had a lot more stolen bases and a lot more complete games. Closers would pitch two and three innings because they didn't need them to pitch every single day. I remember Bruce Suter coming in in the seventh inning. You're like, shit, this game's over. God damn. <sighs> Take some pitches. Yeah, game's gone downhill since uh, Bart Giamatti died. Because I wasn't even really a fan of his replacement. Wasn't a fan of Bud either. Yeah, Dave Vincent, yeah. 
everything movies tv music sports everything was way fucking better in the 70s and 80s man sound like one of those old guys whining about how bad things are today but it really is shit compared to what it used to be i blame the internet and social media it's totally fucked things up Yeah, they're going to trade Arnato. They're going to trade Mats. They need to trade Fetty. I don't have a problem with it, man. If you're going to rebuild, do it right. Get rid of everybody. Play the young guys. Get something for those veterans before they get hurt or they slump worse. You know? If you're going to do it, do it. Don't just half ass it. <clears throat> Yeah, they need to get rid of the deferred uh, contract or at least make it only a certain percentage of the contract. And we need a salary cap and a floor. It's just the way it is. You know, football, base, uh, football basketball, and hockey all work with a cap, and they work just fine. Come on! Why am I always one half step short of the ball? And they should also limit the number of deferred contracts they can give out. Make these fuckers pay that money now. I don't know what Soto was looking for. Oh, hey, batting over on my Cardinals franchise, I kept playing, right? Mike Trout is five home runs away from 600. And he needs two seasons of just over 150 hits to get to 3,000. And he's starting to regress finally. You know, I hate the Dodgers, I hate the Yankees, I hate the Cubs. Not a fan of the Mets or the Giants either. I don't like big market teams. Ah, I tried to foul that off. Skeens is, uh, he's dealing right now. Perfect through eight batters. One, one. Oh, man. That was a long-ass weekend. Um... Yeah, well, at least the guy that hit him is suspended for the rest of the regular season. I know he appealed it, but he's going to lose that appeal. <laughs> there was no reason for that shit. I would definitely would have streamed over the weekend, and we can't get that. Daughter was here till Sunday morning, and... And my oldest granddaughter turned eight on Monday, so we had a donut breakfast. And then she had a little girl friend party. What's up, Louise? Here at our house last night, so um, I'm family out, to be honest with you. I'm ready for some normalcy. AAU games, nice. How did that go? I'm uh, in the middle of going through my recertification for club referee. Got to watch a whole bunch of modules and take an online test, and then I'll be done. So, in the meantime, we're looking for full-time employment.
which would cut back the refing, but that's okay. I can I can do more refing when I retire. We've made one bad pitch this whole game, and Skeens hasn't made one bad pitch yet. We weren't going to get that guy at second, so we'll take the one at first. Yeah, 49ers are done. Christian McCaffrey's never going to be the same. This is Garindo's, uh This is his... Come on, run, 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 run. There he goes, his perfect game. This is Garindo's, uh audition for the starting job for next year. They need to save some money. I wouldn't be shocked if they cut McCaffrey after the year to save money to pay Brock Purdy. Yeah, Mason's on the IR, too. I can't believe they... Uh, Brought back Ayuk and extended Debo. They're, they're spending way too much money. I don't know how they can spend this money. Oh, man. So I lost in fantasy football this week because I didn't play... Jameis Winston at Denver. Why would you ever want to play Jameis at Denver, who's one of the best defenses in football? And so I lost because he went nuts. I didn't have him in my lineup, and the guy I played had Sutton and Elijah Moore. If I play Jameis, I win by one point. <laughs> I win by one point. I have the second most points scored in the league and the second most points allowed. I'm seven and six, but um, there's a dude in our league that I'm tied with for the last playoff spot. If he loses, I'm in no matter what happens. And the guy he's playing is like in next to last place, and he went out and added a bunch of uh, guys off the waiver wires to make it difficult for the other guy to win, which I emailed him and thanked him for playing the season out, man. First place in this league is $850, so and my team is stacked. I just, I get everybody's best week every time they play me. Every time they play me. I've had two weeks all year of less than 120 points against. I'm always 140, 150, 160 points against. It's fucking ridiculous. And we have six teams make the playoffs. Six teams make the playoffs, and I've played three of those teams twice this year. And then in order to win the championship, I may have to beat those three teams a third time. <laughs> the first round, the second round, and the championship. And I can easily face all three of them again. I've had by far the hardest schedule in the entire league. And yeah, I'm pretty salty about it. Play with four players because he had skirmishes. That's why I don't do basketball. It's like between the, the, the players and the coaches and the fans, everybody's got to be just out of control, man. Just shut up and play. Send them. He's out. Too fucking slow as Rooker. Anyway, Ty, you own the tiebreaker? Yeah, our tiebreakers are head-to-head -head first. And if you're still tied, then whoever had the most points scored for the season. So, um, so I would win almost every tiebreaker because of the head-to-head -head and the points scored. It's just... And you're playing... Three teams that are in the playoffs twice. I know they don't want me to get in the playoffs because I've been very hot lately. You want to know my team? I have May, Jameis, and Russell Wilson at quarterback. I have A-Chan and Gibbs at running back. I have A.J. Brown, Nico Collins, T. Higgins, Jalen Waddell at receiver. I've got Kittle and Johnny Smith at tight end. Um, I'm rocking with, I think, Elliot at kicker right now, and, um, 
defense is just a hodgepodge. Just grab somebody off the waiver wire. But in 13 weeks, I've had two weeks where my best players were all healthy. Only two weeks the whole year where I didn't have one of my one of my top players injured. It's been fucking ridiculous. If I have Nico and Higgins, those two guys, every week not hurt, I'm easily the best record in the league. So I had A.J. Brown get hurt in week one, right? And then he was out, and he came back right when Nico Collins got hurt. So I've only had one of those two guys two weeks all year. And then you throw in Higgins getting hurt. And the occasional miss game by Kittle. <laughs> and Tua, Tua getting hurt kind of wrecked HN for like four weeks. I really want David Montgomery to uh, get injured for the rest of the regular season but come back for the playoffs so Gibbs will get all those carries and touchdowns. I'm, I've had enough of Montgomery. There we go. Right from having a perfect game through three innings to having two runs on five hits through four. I tweeted out that I hate fantasy sports, especially football. And I worked in the industry. I worked in fantasy sport for 20 plus years. And I just, I'm so tired of the garbage. Baseball season's way too long. I don't do basketball. I used to do golf. Don't do that anymore. I do baseball and football and hockey. Hockey, I've just, I've dominated. I've won like five years in a row in our hockey league. So that's not really not even a challenge anymore. But football is just so fucking annoying. I literally would not watch the NFL if it wasn't for fantasy football. Ah, tardy. Took my eye off the pitch. <sighs> perfect, perfect. He bumbles that. Oh, I'm not sure he was out. He got a favorable call there. I don't think he's going to get that. No, he did. Wow. How about that? And you are out by a mile. Sit your ass down. A little fist pump in there. Yeah, Shay's like, I got your fist pump, motherfucker. Go sit down. Here we go. We're on a roll now. Oh, we need to get rid of the red in the inside of the glove for a Pete Crow, man. All right, PCA, let's go. That's a broken bat waiting to happen right there. Oh, we topped it. Come on, dig. Dig. Ah. All right, so um, I've been talking about this off camera. So we're going to play this year and next year for sure. I'm going to play two more seasons with uh, the Avengers, and then we might call it a day on this franchise. Um, we'll see. Because I'm I'm going to do 
a draft only franchise. Um, Ant Ortiz and Fiend franchise do draft only franchises. And so I'm going to try my hand at it. I don't know if we're going to stream it or if I'm just going to film it off off stream and edit it down to cut the at-bats down to the last pitch of the AB so the games don't take an hour and skip through. Um, obviously, it's highly focused on the draft since it's draft only. Um, Fiend Franchise has, uh, he allows himself three trades at any point during the franchise. Um, oh, and Butler is going deep! You can put it on the board, yes! Just added that one. So um, that should tell you which team we're going to do for the draft only. We're going to do the White Sox. And we're going to put them in the ballpark that I made, Windy City Stadium. The first year when we sim and trade all the players away, we'll play that in their current progressive field at Comiskey Park. We'll play it in that. And then when we... we uh, go to adding players through the uh, regular draft and rule five draft. We'll switch over to the one that I made. Um, but I'll give you guys a little rundown on that uh, later on in the stream. I don't know when I'll get started. If I decide to just do it as individual episodes on YouTube, I can make them shorter. Keep, try and keep them under an hour and you can, we'll be able to focus more on the prospects and watch them develop. Um, and uh, we'll go a little quicker uh, initially because we're going to be playing. We won't show any gameplay of the Major League team the first year because those guys are all going to get cut at the end of the year. Um, the second year, it's all Rule 5 draft guys. So we won't watch a ton of that we'll be watching our, our prospects down in the minors and the guys we draft really be heavily focused on those guys until they get up to the majors and then we'll focus on the major league team um, so i can record all of that during the day at night edit when i have time i don't have to set aside a three-hour chunk i can make them smaller digestible episodes so maybe the guys on youtube will watch more of them like that format better i know there's one guy who prefers the long format but um that's that's not always uh it's not always the best thing for everybody so yeah we're gonna dive and risk a triple for that He went. You Thank you. Five, four, three. Plus that format is it's a sim. We won't be I won't be playing with controller. It'll be totally based on the ratings. <clears throat> so we can watch some games and stuff um and do some actual live streams for like spring training and um, maybe live stream the draft or something I don't know so we can still do some live streaming on it but we'll be able to get through more seasons quicker that way <clears throat> than streaming and, and if we stream and do two months at a time you won't get to really focus on the, the individual players so I will not be starting my uh, MLB 25 franchise right away once the game launches um, because I want to wait for the first roster update that pulls in all the rookies and the international guys that aren't 
already in the uh, Players Association, so that's why they can't put them in the uh, player file when the game launches. So I'll wait for that update, and then I'll go in and update the top 100 prospects. Um, I do have a this particular um, roster file with updated 100 top 100 prospects out in the vault. If you just search using my PSN, which is Von Rye, you'll be able to use that. It's already got over 200 downloads. And Langoliers! There we go. So, um, so that's the plan. So we do the draft only one. We can kind of take our time a little bit and we'll rush through the, the regular seasons until we start getting our prospects and then we'll churn through the, the seasons with the prospect guys until we get them in the majors and then we'll just focus on the majors. And we can play into the release of MLB 25 and then when that roster file is ready, I'll take a week off, get that ready, and then we'll launch our uh, franchise for next year. Um, if Soto signs with the Giants, then I will pick a new team for franchise. If Soto doesn't sign with the Giants, then I'm prepared to do a Giants franchise next year. Like this, where I actually do gameplay and stuff. Um... Yeah, way out front, rolled over. All right, we're already through seven, guys. A couple of big bombs, and all of a sudden it's five to one, and we're into the eighth inning. Kobe. Uh oh. I don't think we're going to catch that one off the wall. He threw it to the wrong guy. Throw that to the cutoff, he stops. We're going to have to work for a strikeout here. Or a pop up. Can't get it. There we go. That was crucial. guy that hit the home run earlier. I'm not getting that. How about this change up? He hit this change up out. Let's see if we can throw it better this time. Yeah. Sinker down and away. Got him. There we go. Cruising right through this game. It'll take about 40 minutes. Good pitch. Oh, hey, Batten, I, uh, 
I did, I, I, like I, I told you, I did some changes to the, the Park Labatt. Remember I had the, uh, like, almost like standing room only back behind the home plate, behind the backstop. Um, and I adjusted that. I removed all those guys. But I do have seating back there. I'll show you what I did. And so I could have the regular behind home plate stands match up with the stands going down the, the side. Um, I'll show you when I get when we get uh, towards the end here. If you have to go before, just let me know and I'll, I'll save and go out and show you. Butler's on the cover of this episode on the thumbnail, and he had a big home run earlier, so good season debut. Is that going to be a little flare and drop? Yes, it is. He's got three hits on opening day. I do like this back backdrop right here. The brick building, nice and big. It doesn't give you problems during sunshine games. Fills the area nicely. It's interesting to look at. All right, off to the ninth. Where's he at pitch-wise? 97. I'm going to take him out. I'm not going to burn him up. And I uh, got left, right. Doesn't matter there. So we'll go with a righty. And let's go with... Go with Nick. Don't mess it up, Rosario. Remember, we he had such a bad fielding game in the World Series that we benched him for the last game. day win against Paul Skeens and the Pirates. I don't think he can get there. Let's see if we can back foot this slider. Almost got it. How about a backdoor fastball? Blowing away. He got it, but hit it right at Pete Crow, and that's a win. Ah, accidentally hit the space bar. And that's a winner! That's a winner! There we go. Gonzalez had three hits. Contreras had two. Gonzalez got their only run on a home run. Skeens was perfect for three, and then we lit him up for the next two. Everybody but Kelnick and Soderstrom had hits. Butler had three. Rooker had two. Butler and Langleyers with home runs. Burns, eight innings, eight hits, eight strikeouts, no walks, one solo homer. Sandlin, perfect ninth. Good start to the season, so... Now we are going to go player lock with Logan Fiore down in AAA. And like I said, we uh, we have the real minor league stadiums for our AA and AAA teams. So this will be fun to go play in those ballparks. The only thing I've done in these parks is do a home run derby just to see what it looks like. And I want to bat against right-handed pitching as much as possible so that uh, 
that can boost his contact and power against righties. Nah, it's got to be over the plate more. There it goes, deep down the line. Adios, pelota. Yeah, I hit the scoreboard. Adios, pelota. Got all of that one. That was a towering shot. I want a picture of him so I can use it for a future thumbnail. All right, three nothing, two on, nobody out, third inning. No, oh, that's a double play. Oh, he botched it. It's still a double play because we have no speed. Man, he hit it hard, but did not get the ball up. If we had some wheels. We could have prevent that from being a DP. All right, let's wait till we can get a pitch to drive here. I do like this ballpark. Oh, and he goes deep again. <laughs> He's only got power in the 50s right-handed guys. Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> Bam. Let's see if it'll let me get him around the bases. I can show it. Looks like it's going to stop when he gets to first base. Yeah. Right. Now we get a lefty. He crushes lefties. So... See if we can get a three home run game to open up triple A. Just missed. Goodness. He's not going to beat, uh, and he throws the first. Seven nothing. There we go. Logan Fury, two for four, two home runs, three RBI. Mitch Spence, eight innings, nine hits, no runs. That's why we sent him down because his hits per nine is a little elevated. And you can see even down here, it was elevated. Hey, Joe Rickles comes in and strikes out the side. Finish off the shutout. <clears throat> so, um, if we have injuries, especially at second base, you know who's coming up right away. 
And if we have an injury at first base, I might bring him up and play him at first base instead. All right, so Garcia and Jared Jones, we're going to sim this. We win three to two. Home run to Soto. No home run. Yeah, Butler with another home run. There we go. Garcia pitched well. Bullpen did their job and got the win. All right, can we get the sweep? Yes, we do. Five to four. Rooker and Langoliers with home runs. Max Freed got lit up a little. Did have nine Ks. Rasmussen pitched five innings in relief. <laughs> so he pitched the 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th, and 11th. Jeez. All right. And then we go to Fenway. This is the guy that we didn't draft instead of Fiore. So let's go player lock against him. He is a lefty. <clears throat> So, since you're a lefty, who do we want? Let's do Joe Adele. So, they have Jack Peterson playing left field and Josh Lowe DHing. Trevor mm -hmm. Stories in the lineup. <laughs> All right, Joe, two on, one out. Wind is blowing out to left. Get the ball up in the air. Get a cheap green monster home run. Ah. Nope. Double play because I swung the pitch at my feet. God damn. All right. Losing two to one. Two on, two out. We need to focus on hittable pitches. That's at least up in the zone. There we go. There's a home run over the monster. <laughs> What I was trying to do the first at bat. <clears throat> That'll wreck your early ERA. 446 to straightaway left. That was a shot. Bam. That's why we brought him in. Power bat, power arm. Way over everything. Uh, Lambs down street. All right, Mayo hits a solo homer, so we're up five to two. Brian Bellows pitching in relief, really? Let me hit that on screws, but right at him. All right, now it's eight to two. Rooker with a home run. Langoliers with his third of the year. That's a rocket right by Devers, right through his glove. Doesn't get the double play. Wow, well, I wasn't looking at what he did. I was looking at myself run. He must have uh, bobbled the ball or something. Jump throw from short. Gets him by two steps. Goodness. All right. Come on, Esty. Nope. All right. Should not get any more at bats. It'd be game over. Yep. Eight to two. Two hits for Rosario. Three for Langliers. Three for Nevin. Two for Adele. 
Rooker Langoliers, Mayo and Adele with home runs. Estes pitch is great. Sandline pitch is great. Yeah, there we go. Does that make us 4 0 on the season? Yep. <clears throat> Let's go down here. And player lock on Nick Kurtz. This is our other big prospect playing first base. So he's only hitting 231. Fiori's hitting 364. Jacob Wilson's hitting 385. So those three guys right there have a very good shot at being up at the major leagues next year. And get over. New pitcher. No, that was our pitcher. Never mind. You guys need to get used to seeing all these minor league at-bats when we get into the uh, draft only one with the White Sox because we will not look at very much on the major league side for the first two years. We'll be focused on all of our young players. So the White Sox have some young players, but not a ton of high-level prospects. Is that going to get down? Yep. They have a great pitcher in Hagen Smith who pitched for Arkansas. And Colson Montgomery playing short. Edgar Quiero, I think is his name, is a catcher, but they don't have a lot. So when we start the draft only section, we will be, um, we'll, we'll trade away probably Garrett Crochet for a top hitting prospect. Um, and then, because we can, we can draft pitchers like crazy. But want to get another stud hitter. And, uh, Um, we will have a lot more minor league player locks and full games until those players get up to the major league level. Which means I might leave them in their regular ballpark for the first two full seasons and then move to the new one after we start getting some of our prospects to the major league level because we won't see those games at the major league level. There's another extra base hit. Come on, go, 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 go. He's going. Get down. RBI double. There we go. One down. One down. What's up, K Money? How you doing? We, uh,. Pounded Paul Skeens on opening day, beat the beat the Pirates seven to one. Then we had a uh, play lock game with our number one draft pick from last year, and he had a two home run game down at Triple A. And now we're back to Triple A, doing another uh, play lock with a top prospect. So haven't missed a ton, but We're going to focus more on some of these prospects this year and less on our major league team so that we have to win in the sim more than me playing the games. Did not drive him in. Hopefully Fiori does. He did, but then we lost. 8-1, nice, nice. So you're on the next season. How did that season finish? Yeah, you were 14 and one last time I talked to you. All right, sim this game. 
And Bobby Miller gets a 7-2 win in his Avengers debut. No home runs, a lot of doubles and a triple, though. Four and a third, three hits, two unearned runs, four walks, four Ks. Rasmussen comes in and gets the win. Won the Super Bowl, there you go. All right. And we finally lose our first game of the season. So we're five and one. Let me save this. All right, Rosario hitting 367, Rooker 360, Butler 375, Langoliers, three home runs, Soderstrom struggling, or still way early, Burns is crushing it, Bullpen, Rasmussen's crushing it, Miller had one bad game, blew that last start. What do we have down here? Jackson Ferris. So send that. We lost five to one. And we lose nine three. So we lost three in a row after winning five in a row. Beat the Panthers. There you go. All right. So now we can look at scouting. So as I said before, we have two scouts that can scout really good, both hitters and pitchers. And we have a really good discovery scout. So our discovery scout is 94. So we're going to have him discover pitchers international. And then we are going to have this guy <clears throat> scout international pitchers. And he's going to scout international pitchers. So we're going to double scout these guys. So we're going to get 30% done in one week. So we're going to have everybody in this region to 90% scouted in three weeks. So we're going to go three weeks on international, and then we're going to switch and go three weeks on central, depending on how many pitchers. So if these two guys show like 28 to 30 pitchers in this region, I'm going to pull this discovery guy off international next week and throw him on central. So we're going to get through this whole region to at least 90% in three weeks. So we can clear two whole regions to 90% in only six weeks. And that gives us eight weeks to scout individual, especially hitters, individual pitchers that aren't in those regions, maybe relievers, closers, whatever. Um, and this guy, probably by week four or five, he's going to switch over and start trying to discover hitters. So let's say... There, there, yeah. Because we need some, we need some pitching depth in the organization. We need some some real pitching, um, some real pitching, um, starting pitching prospects, just to back up. So we have when the uh, scouting started. All right, that's double A, that's triple A. We'll do another one with uh, Fiore when we go in to play the Sugarland Space Cowboys here. So let's jump in on a player lock on this one. Yeah. And <clears throat> let's go. The fuck is wrong with my voice? Um, let's go with Kelnick.
All right, we're up 3 nothing. Rooker with a two-run homer. Adamas with a one-run double. Yeah, if we if we dominate and then this, if we just keep dominating even in the sim, you'll see me show less major league action and more minor league action this year. Oh, all the way to the track. It's gonna move up at least. All right, Rodriguez makes it a three-two game. Yeah, way out in front. Hardy, very late. Very late. Gotta watch for the sinker here. Sinker and a change up. Oh, we didn't get that. It says good contact, but hit it more on the label. gives us a two-run lead again. I'm always batting with two outs. Got all of that, but I think he's going to catch that. Robinson has... I'm sorry, Rodriguez has... Oh, no! It's snuck over the wall! Holy shit! Adios, I thought that was going to hit off the wall. Wow. That was an altitude home run right there. I didn't think I got all of that one. <clears throat> Felt like you hit it off the end of the bat. I even have the wall high there, so Adamas with the two run homer. We're blowing him out. Eight to two. Is that gonna get over his head? Nope. Alright, this should be his last A B. Yep. Eight three win. Julio hit a home run. Rooker had three hits. Adamas had three hits. Everybody had a hit that game. Rooker, Kelnick, and Adamas with home runs. That's this pitch is great again. All right. What do we got time-wise? 115. We got a lot of games to go this month. <clears throat> we still have one, two, one, two, three full weeks plus three days, so... I'll probably play one more full game here at the White Sox. We'll go see them play in their new park, new new ballpark, and we'll just do player lock the rest of it. All right, we have a Monday game to finish the series. That's really strange, and we lose seven to nothing. Six walks. Bobby Miller got beat up. All right, when does Miller pitch again? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll play. We will pitch this game with Bobby Miller on the 16th. <clears throat> All right. Triple A. Mason Erla. If he is not a right-handed pitcher, we'll exit out and pick a different game. He's right-handed. So... Get ready to see a lot of Logan Fiore and Nick Kurtz player locks. I will jump in and do some Dalton Rushing and Zach Veen. But um, these two guys are the closest to being MLB ready. <clears throat> yeah. Kurtz hit a home run. All right. 1-1 one, one game. Two outs here in the bottom of the first. Oh, that was off the end of the bat. Drop, 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 drop. Nope.
All right, 2 2 tie. Hit it. Didn't get all of it, though. All right, losing 4-2 now. We are the tying run, though. Oh, don't swing at that. Drop. Get over his head. That was a terrible pitch to swing at. All right, sixth inning. Yep. Two more bats. This one and one more. Nice ah. cutter. All right, let's go. Trevor Gott. This is a major league pitcher right here. Ooh, I think that's going to be off the wall. Yes, it is. That wall wasn't so damn high. That would have been a home run. I'll take the double. All right, Dalton, your turn, buddy. Is it going to drop? Nope. All right. And we lose. <coughs> Kirk's with a home run. Let's go player lock um, and pitch this game. This is our number one pick in the draft that we just had this last season, Dante Hinkle. So let's let's go pitch with him. Just pitch. So whenever he's done, we're done. This guy right here, this Bob Lopez, look at that. Look at that contact. He's got 80 steel. He's got good vision, discipline, clutch. He has no power. Um, I am trying to train his fielding so he can move to center field or left field. He's going to be an outfielder, not a first baseman. His defense doesn't make as much of a difference at first base, but I don't want a speedy leadoff first baseman. We want, want that in the outfield. So we're trying to train up his fielding specifically so we can move him. <clears throat> All right. Hinkle. Hinkle. Kirloff is on this team. It's the only one I notice. Here he is. Full beard and glasses. And, uh, oh, that's, right. that's their guy. Why did they show? Well, we're up 4 nothing. First inning. Great start for the offense. Show my pitcher. Get this for future use. <laughs> What's that face? All right, we'll get a different picture. Can we get it that time? This dude and his faces. <laughs> What's that?
Get there, get there, get there. Oh, no. That's going to be at least three. <gasps> Not a good decision to dive there. And we give up a run. Defense. Defense, defense, defense. Got him. There we go. Got the K. All right. Need my defense to play better now. Don't be diving for shit. You don't need to dive. That would have been a single, and we ended up getting him all the way to third, and he scored on a ground ball. Should have not been there to begin with. All right. There we go. Easy grounder. Two down. And a lazy fly. All right. Easy second inning. Let's go. Nasty curveball. It's not a big 12 6. It's more of a three quarter, halfway between a uh, slider and a curveball. Not really a slur, but kind of breaks lower. Doesn't have such a big straight down drop. Straight up in here. I'll take this. Get out of my way. Wow, that was over his head. Do me a favor. Appreciate it. Yeah, hey, haircut ain't no problem. We're uh, pitching with our number one draft pick from this past season, Dante Hinkle. So we're uh, spending more of our player lock games with the minors with uh, Fiore and Kurtz and this guy. Fiore had a two home run game, his first game of the season. We're going to play a full game with the uh, Major League team when we get to Chicago. I want to pitch with Bobby Miller. It's had a rough start. And I try, kind of want to get him straightened out. Dude, I haven't paid for a haircut in decades because my mother used to uh, work at a beauty place and she cuts my hair for free. Yeah, ground rule double saved me an extra base there. Drop that curveball in there. There we go. Let's get his slider working here.
That's a rope up the middle. Setting up this high fastball. Just like that. Thank you very much. I didn't realize we're up 10 to 1. Now there we go. He's through five, only allowed one run. Let's go. Get there. Thank you very much. Easy grounder to second. Scoop and throw. Thank you. He's only allowed three hits. That's good. The less hits we allow, the higher his hits per nine go. The more strikeouts I generate, the higher his K's per nine goes. All right. Down and in. Let's try not to put this over the middle of the plate. Yep. I really didn't want that ball there. Oh, shit. Go catch that. Go catch that. Go catch that. Nope. Good relay. Throw it home. Throw it home. He's out. There we go. Curveballs eating them up, man. I don't have a sinker. We're going to use that two seamer like a sinker. Throw that down and in and make it run in. Keep it off the fat part of the bat. Go chase that shit. Thank you. Appreciate it. He's through seven. Rocking and rolling. 68 pitches through seven. Ooh. Hung that. Lucky it didn't get hit hard. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is... Giving me in trouble today. All right, one out. Ooh, didn't chase, didn't get the call. Get back there and catch that. Let's go. There we go. Two outs. He's going to throw a complete game. 
I'm only at 75 pitches here. He might let me go in, out for the ninth inning. That'll help the stamina too. He's through eight. Man, we're going back for the ninth. Trying for the complete game. Yanked foul. All right. You're way out in front, huh? 95? Let's throw you a change up then. Now we're going to throw you a two seamer down and away. See if you'll chase. Ground it to the left side. Swing and miss. How do you like this curveball? under it lazy fly so we get on the horse and catch that Ooh. all the way to the warning track it got a lot of that shut that in the left <clears throat> damn Chase. Got him. Fuck. That was a low changeup, and he just rocked it. Well, that'll mess up a, a game. And we're done. Fucking one pitch away from a complete game. <clears throat> Lopez, four hits. Told you, he's a leadoff type guy. And had a steal. Soto and Blake with home runs. Everybody had a hit. Eight and two-thirds, seven hits, no walks, nine strikeouts, three runs. Not bad our first time. All right, beat the Astros 6-5. And we win one to nothing. Four hits, shutout. Garcia goes eight. Mason Miller finishes it off. One nothing game. We are eight and four, boys. Let me save. All right, double A. Lopez hitting three seventy five. Bird in three thirty three. Triple A Fiore, 333 with two home runs, seven in RBI. Wilson, 256. Elliott, 289. Kurtz, 239. Veen, 220. Rushing, 265. Spence, JT Ginn. These two younger guys aren't doing as well. These guys are crushing. Cole Wynn. Yeah. And Roy Hobbs, four saves, a 270 ERA. All right, lose five to two. Give up two home runs in that game. Reed struggling just a little bit here. All right, at Seattle, <clears throat> win nine six. Mayo and Silver <clears throat> Soderstrom with home runs. 
Butler and Kelnick with steals. I don't know why my throat is giving. My voice is just shot right now for no good reason. <clears throat> Bobby Miller, we're not going to pitch this game. We're going to pitch the game against the White Sox. So I want to play in that ballpark. So we're going to play a lock on this game, though. And we're going to go with... Let's go with Soderstrom. He's struggling. <clears throat> All right, bases are loaded and two outs here in the second inning. Let's see if we can work a, a hit or a walk. Find the gap, drive in at least two. No. Oh. Tried to hold up. I saw there was a change up and couldn't stop the swing. Uh-oh. That's going to be deep into the gap. Is this a grand slam? Fuck yes, it is. <laughs> you can. Bam! Did not miss that one. That was a line drive. Mm, just a bit tardy. Slicing foul. Oh, got under it. And they fight their way back and tie the game. Carl Edwards Jr. feels like he's pitched forever for a ton of teams. <clears throat> Straight up in the air. One more at bat. Nope. We lost. Five to four. Sandlin. Miller pitched better. I mean, I drove in all the runs. <laughs> the rest of the guys got to do something. They got to help out somehow. All right. Scouting. All right, we have 25 pitchers scouted. We found four more pitchers. So that should put it at 29. So we're going to kick him over to Central. And we're going to nail these guys. Here, let's look at the prospects. So he's at 35. He's at 54. The 18-year-olds are at 35. So we're going to get these guys. We're going to get these guys almost 100% or in a lot of cases, over 100% scouted in three weeks. That's huge. And then we're going to shift over to the central. So after six weeks, we're going to have roughly 50 to 60 um, pitchers scouted, starting pitchers scouted com almost completely. And that way we can go back and try and pick individual relievers or hitters and we'll start trying to discover some of these uh position players that we need so that's good we we pick 30th so this guy this guy's eh, he's better than though some of them Rated. A lot of not rated. That's not good. All right. All right. Let's 
Sim there. We lose five to nothing. Elliot got hurt. All right. Well, Sim again. Bounce back win eight to two. Home runs by McCann, Adele, and Pete Crow with two. Nice. All right. Hagen Smith. Drew Thorpe, Joe Cannon. So we're going to do Bobby Miller against Jonathan Cannon. So we'll just, we'll sim through, then we'll do more player locks. I want to drop back down to triple A. And player lock. <clears throat> Six. Jaden Hill's a righty. Let's do... Let's do Dalton rushing this time. Let's do the catcher. We traded for him last season, last winter. I hate this park. <clears throat> now that he's the wall really deep, it's like twice as high. You got to yank it down the line and hit a home run here. We have fun to change it. Ball. One ball. Two strikes. Two two. You got all of that one, I think. <laughs> Three two fastball right down the middle. Crushed. Yeah, we'll have to see the replay on that. And I get a picture of him. All right, 2-2 two, two tie. Man on second, nobody out in the fourth. Let's see if we can drive this run home too. Ah, dip my PCI. Just kept running in and I thought I was going to get out there and be able to get that early. Don't work it full again, pitcher. I took you deep last time. Yeah. We got in front of the slider. The pitch. All right, we're up 4 2, but we got two on, two out. See if we can drive these run, runs in off this lefty. He's just going to walk me. The sun is out of the way. Oh, I was trying to go down and golf that. Right, let's stay back and wait for a fastball. I want to hunt fastballs. And then what do we do? Swing it two change ups in a row. Fucking listen to yourself. <laughs> Nope. Gave that at bat away with those two bad swings. All right, now we're losing five to four because I failed. That's how it always happens. Ball. 
You don't drive him in. CPU gets a rally, takes the lead. See it all the time. You penalize your pitchers for you not being able to do the job at the plate. Right, we go. Bean on deck. He's not been tearing it up. Make sure it was a strike, and then we were late. But we get the win in anyway. Fiori with a two-run double gives us the lead. All right. Wilson, two for five. Kurtz, one for four. Fiori's only hit wins the game. Manuel's two for five. All right. And a little preview here of all of the guys we have in the minors. So hopefully Max can turn this around against Hagen Smith, who really hasn't set the world on fire himself. And we do, 7-1. to one. Rosario and Adele with home runs. Freed pitches his best game of the season. All right, Joey loses 5-4. to four. Adamas and Butler with home runs. And now we're going to start this game with Bobby Miller. So we're going to play the full game. So let me save. This will be the last full game that we do on this particular stream. We'll do some more player locks as we go, but it'll be the last full game. Um, I want to pitch with Bobby, though. This is a guy that we got at the end of spring when they tried to pass him through waivers. And I'm like, he's better than... The Joker we were going to have for number five. All right. Let's check out these uniforms. Because we will have all of these to wear next time. I already know which one we're going to wear. We're going to make him wear the red ones. These are the uniforms from the uh, early 70s, mid 70s. And this is their park that I put them in. This was made by Gopper Gaming over on YouTube. So this is his uh, version of the new one they're supposed to uh, build and move into. So there we go. They have Luis Angel Acuna. I wonder what they traded for that. There we go. Be more patient. That's the ball. One and one. I hate foul outs.
All right, Rooker, your average is dipped. This guy does not throw hard. Of course he catches it. All right, Bobby, we got to get this uh, ERA and whip fixed here. Throws straight gas. He has two perks that allow him to throw his uh, primary and secondary pitches beyond their uh, normal limits. So that's that's over 100 miles an hour in his fastball. There you go. Just getting extra shots that we can use for future thumbnails. There we go. Wasn't sure I was going to get to that or not. I had to run out to the outfield to get it. Got him. Yeah, front. <laughs> Way up front. I do like this park. Feels very intimate. Well, the outfield looks deep. It's roped over his head and gone. That was a line drive home run. Oh. You can put it on the board. Yes. That was just a line drive. Barely got above the uh, second deck, <laughs> the front edge of the second deck. That was just a screaming line drive. Oh, Adamas got all of that one. I don't think it's coming back, Johnny. That was roasted. <laughs> All right, Jared, we're going to hit three in a row here. Nope, we're going to foul out. That was a rocket.
Come on, Sugar Shay. You're slumping. Got to get you going. Otherwise, we'll bring up rushing. Oh! I think he's going, boys. It's just a high fly. Hey, right, only two out. Three home runs in the inning, guys. Three bombs. Come on, Ahmed. There we go. That's an extra base hit. Just drive that into right center. If that was Pete Crow. That would have been a triple. Speaking of Pete Crow... He's done. He didn't even get through two innings. It's like three straight doubles after three home runs earlier. Six run, top of the second. It's one way to get the offense going. Got him. I eat. Woo, got the call in the bottom of the zone. Thank you very much. He is out. Sit down. Langoliers isn't much of a defender, but he's got a great arm. He's got two very high strengths. His power and his cannon of an arm, and that might be out of here. Nope. Not even to the warning track. Must be really deep out there. Thought I hit that well. Man, it's the first time playing a full game. I'm just trying to get used to all this shit out here in the backdrop behind the, the pitcher. My eyes are being diverted and looking around at all kinds of stuff, trying to see what all the stuff I can see. That's the only bad thing about playing in a stadium that you didn't make. <laughs> Because you don't know where everything is, what look you were going for. Two 
Take that walk, thank you. Ah, uh, double play. Fuck. Nice easy inning. Didn't throw a ton of pitches. Gotta love it. All right, Shay. You went deep last time. Ooh. Tardy on that one. Good pitch. Nice location. Mm. Kind of fisted that one through. Jammed myself. Just had enough momentum to get to the outfield. Brent, let's go. Shit was over his head. Here we go, Butler. I'm gonna get on your horse and go get that.
Oh, really? Couldn't get that? There we go. Season going, where we got our winning record. Um, we're we're not blowing people out, but we started with five straight wins and three straight losses. But we've been handling it so far. Actually, been focusing more on our minor league guys, so I haven't really got a feel for how these guys are doing. I know the bottom half of the order has been struggling with their batting average. <coughs> I'm trying to get Bobby Miller on uh, on track. He's coming into this game with an ERA like 6.75, so trying to get him straightened out. Get by him, thank you. All right, Sugar Shea. Oh, bad, and I got something to show you when we're done with this game. Oh, why am I swinging at that? Terrible pitch. <clears throat> Is that for him? Six. I've been doing us a lot of favors by uh, having some low pitch outs. You gonna catch that? Of course. Safe. There we go. Infield hit. Thank you. All right, PCA. Let's go. Got two hits already.
Could not get my hands through quick enough. Oh, got it that time, though. <laughs> Woo! Quick hands. That was a rope. Yeah, why am I swinging? Why? Why am I swinging? Don't swing at garbage like that. We can go get that instead. That's out of here. You can put it on the board. About time they took him out of the game. Shit. We are just crushing this less than major league level pitching staff. These guys are just throwing meatballs, man. Another home run. Wow. I just want to pitch with Bobby Miller. That's all I want to do. <laughs> I want to get him straightened out, and we can't stop hitting home runs in this game. Maybe he'll catch this one. There we go. That's only two out. We still got to bat three more times. I'm just going to start <clears throat> hacking. Just start swinging away. Get our at-bats over with and try to get Bobby back in the mound. Oh, that's going to be out of here. That shit was over my head. Woo! Up against the wall. Straight gas. Oh, man. Take the one out, can't get two. At least he kept that out of the uh, corner. Oh, 
Come on, he's a little dude. Fuck off. It should have been a strike the pitch before, and now I'm throwing him an off-speed pitch instead of a fastball. One of the shutout. Yeah, I don't know how they got him from the Mets. I wish they would show a transaction page on the player's card and shows how he changed teams, trades, and free agent signings and stuff. Look at Montgomery. We're going to do a lot of first pitch swinging here. Up 10 runs. We scored all of our runs in two separate innings. Yeah, that's fine. I just want to pitch. It's not going to get there. Throw him out. Yes. All right. Gave up a run, but got the out. That's fine. I like that two pitch at bat. That helps too. All right. He's through seven. for a bunt single. He just needs a triple for the cycle. Let's drive this to the gap and send him three. Nope. Popped it up right in the middle of the infield. Now you know why we're going to play a lot more player locks down in uh, AAA and AA. We're just going to let the uh, CPU play for us more in the major league level. And that way, if we make the playoffs, it's on the CPU and not on me. What's up, Tight Spot? How you doing, man? Right up the middle. Worm burner, 15 hopper. Dude, we're just killing these guys right now. Woke up from a nap. 
I can't take a nap in the middle of the day. I, uh, I, 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 uh, I am not a nice person to be around after I take a nap. I am really, really crabby. You would think after a nap you would feel better, right? But I, uh, gotta yeah, work. Yeah. Okay. Well, a little more than a nap then, right? Can we get the K up and in? Got him. Here we go. Is that nine? No, it's ten. Double digits. There we go. That's what I was going for. I wanted a complete game shutout with double digit Ks. Didn't get the shutout. This will be his last inning. Straight gas. Look at that. 71 strikes, 21 balls. Alright, eight innings and ten strikeouts, two runs allowed. I'd say that was a very good performance. New pitcher for the ninth. Jared, you haven't had a hit today. A terrible pitch to swing that. Just terrible. And you're still going to go over. All right. Kobe. Oh, hey, tight spot. My uh, wife got a job. Yay. It's good money. It's not quite the great money she was making, but it's good money. About 20 grand less than what she was making, but still not uh, still not garbage. Yeah, it was a nice thing to, uh, didn't really wake up to it. She had a, um, a final interview at like 10.30 this morning. All right, new pitcher. Who is coming in? Mm -hmm. Let's go with Alexis. She's been not working since June, so but we got paid. We got paid. Uh, uh, we got paid. Um, she got paid a severance. My daughter-in-law is going to come by. She forgot her purse, I think. 
They were here last night for a, a kid birthday party. As soon as we can get this game over with, I'll run up and unlock the door for her. That's a swing. How about this? Up and in, high heat. Jammed him, Kelnick. Where are you going? And there's ball game. All right, got the dub. Hopefully we get Bobby Miller going here. <laughs> Everybody but Kelnick and Soderstrom had hits. Look at that. The top five guys all had three hits. <laughs> Look at all those doubles and home runs. My goodness. Rooker and Adamas hit two home runs each. All right, eight innings, four hits, a walk, ten strikeouts, two runs allowed. That's what way. That's what I wanted. That's why I wanted to pitch with him. Yeah, I do need to show you. Give me one second. I'm going to go unlock the door. Advance that day, and I'll go save, and then I'll go show you. So I was uh, finishing up Team Affinity, and uh, playing with with the. Uh, This is with the Diamondbacks, and this is Corbin Carroll. I've never hit a ball in that spot before. I've never hit a ball in that spot. It went beyond the batter's eye into that gap. It's 432 feet. <laughs> That's the farthest I've ever hit a ball at Coors. I've hit that backdrop, but I've never hit it to the right of the backdrop that far. Yeah. <laughs> 432. Yeah. All right. We are 12 and 8. The Astros are 13 and 6. So... Rosario hitting 299, Rooker 300 with 5 and 11, Adamas 274 with 5 and 19. Butler has 5 home runs, Armstrong has 4 home runs, Langoliers has 4, Soderstrom 3. But you can see some of these batting averages over here are just not good. Kalnick, pitching wise, ERAs are a bit high outside of Garcia. Rasmussen's crushing and really, I mean, the whole bullpen's doing great, except for Mason Miller, but he's only pitched four innings. So, um, Triple A. It's our shortstop, Jacob Wilson, at 343. Rushing's hitting 321 with five and 12. Fiore only has two home runs, hitting 273. Kurtz only hitting 206, but he's got four and 11. Spence and Ginn are doing great there. Down in double-A. Hass Hinkle. That's our first round pick that we just made. We uh, pitched with him. 16 strikeouts and 17 innings. So, yeah. There we go. All right. So, at the Phillies... Corbin Burns, a lat out a day or two. We lose five to two. Yeah, Rasmussen got beat up. Became a bullpen game. Looks like Bryce hit a grand slam. And then we bounce back with an eight to three win. Rooker with two more homers. Langoliers with a home run. Garcia pitched great. 
All right, scouting. So we're at week three, right? So we are double scouting. So you can see this guy is completely scouted. We are double scouting this region with our starting pitchers, our, our scouts for these starting pitchers, right? Um, so we've we've gotten through two weeks. So we're we'll finish this whole thing off in week three. But looking at those prospects, yeah, I would like to get him and him. So we'll go through, we'll finish off, we'll do one more week and then we'll switch to central. Um, what are you? You're east, central, west, west, east, central, west, central, central, central. Yeah. So we'll do central next. Um, he's discovering. So we'll do one more week of that. We have the, we have the 30th pick. That could be an option right there, that first baseman. He could be an option at second. So could he. Dude can hit. Um, that's a number one guy. He's a possibility. He's got some power. He's an older prospect, but he could be one of those. He could be a high B potential in the 60s, but he's 21. He's probably going to be on the lower end of his. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're uh, finishing off the entire international in three weeks, and then we'll go to Central, finish them off in three weeks, and that'll give us eight weeks to scout individual pitchers and hitters. So that's how we're doing that. So that was one, two, three. Right, We started there. Yeah, so we'll go through this whole week, then we'll move those pitchers to central. So this would be one, two, three. So then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven more weeks. Eight, really eight. So, all right. Let's finish up this Philly series and we win two out of three. Rooker and Adamas both hit home runs again. Freed, I'm a little concerned with Freed. He's uh, he's struggling. He's 34 hits in 26 innings. It's his predicament. Everything's in a good spot. I don't. He's just not simming well. Striking out a lot of guys. You know, Burns. He's got more hits than he's pitched. He's taking it on the chin a little bit in the sim. Garcia's pitching great, though. Bobby Miller. Hopefully we got him straightened out. Spence. He's in the minors. Estes. He started out good. Probably had a couple of bad starts lately. This guy's getting rocked in AAA, so... Can we move somebody up? All right, let's move John Hess to triple A and move DeLeon down to double A. All right. 
stat wise wilson's killing it he's got one option left davidson's done with his options zach bean hasn't used any rushing has used two so once we use him up fiori is okay not great kurtz he's used one why has he used one option I don't remember bringing him up at all. Oh, well, he's on the 40 man, so he came up for spring training and they sent him down. Uh, I hate when the CPU does that. All right, let's go back down to triple A. Player lock again with, uh, he's left. Yeah, let's do Fiori anyway. We don't have a lot of pitchers in AAA that I'm interested in right now. Uh, they're mostly down in AA. But I don't want to pitch another game. Getting to the point where I, I want to get done soon, so... Get him heated up. All right, Rodriguez, let's go. It's two outs. He's going to strike out. No. Base hit drives in a run. All right. Keep this rally going. Got the lead. Come on, Moya. We traded for this guy. He's only 18 years old. All right. Kurtz with an RBI. It's 2 nothing. I was going to turn on that. Ah, terrible. I like playing in these real minor league parks, though. It's kind of cool. Glad this dude made them all. All right. It's 3 nothing. we get two more bets. This one and one more. And we turn on that one just a touch early. Oh, I was trying to go down and golf it. I'm being impatient. I need to calm down and just... Jesus, we gave up five runs. Good change up. One more. He's going to get thrown out because he's so damn slow. All right, Wilson tied it. Can walk it off right here with two outs. Let's go. Ooh. Way out in front of that changeup. There it is! A three run blast for the win! <laughs> Adios, 
Just turned on an inside pitch. Gone. Bam. There we go. There we go. Gets him up to 270. Three home runs and 12 ribs now. All right. Clark is about ready. All right. Joey gets the dub. Beats Silseth. Pete Crow and Mayo with home runs. Estes pitched well. Bullpen did their job. Detmers and Bobby Miller. Let's we'll see if he does it in the sim now after I pitch with him. And he does. They win 6-5. to five. Adele with a home run off his old team. Rasmussen gets the win. Not a great start by Miller. He's going to be one of those that plays really well when we play, and he doesn't do as well when we sim, which is not fun. All right, player lock will do Mayo. All right, we're getting close to the end of the stream and end of the month, so... Let me check my wife's work schedule for the rest of the time where she's at because pretty soon she's going to be working every day from home in regular hours. So she's off the next two days, Friday. Yeah, we'll probably either do a late stream on, on Thursday night or we'll do a Friday lunchtime stream I gotta get some uh, modules done and a test taken for club volleyball come on sugar shea let's go Come on, Tyler. We need to heat up, buddy. We need you. Hit it well, but right to him. Come on, Ahmed. Don't strike out. Put the ball in play. Wasted base hit. Butler, two-run double, that's good. And we got a man in scoring position with two outs. Oh, get out of play. The ball's going to hang in the air so he can run 900 miles to go catch that. This fucking, this goddamn stadium creator, man, that never, that ball would have been way foul if they would take the bullpens off the field. Langulares and Butler with home runs. There we go. That's a double. Drives in another run. Two hit game for Mayo. I want to see if I can get him with his arms up like that. Yeah, there we go. That's a definite thumbnail. <laughs> hey, all right. Here we go, Nero. Hey, have a red. Like you can. All right. 
Two outs. Yeah, that's it. All right. I don't think he's going to bat again unless we have a big rally. Butler with another RBI. Butler, I think Butler drove in like five runs that game. Yep. Four for five with five ribs. Pete Crow, three for five. Three runs scored. Corbin, hey, nice bounce back. There we go. Clark Elliott's back. Cardinals. Hinkle's out a few days. Bob Lopez is back. We'll lose the Cardinals 3-2. to two. Newt Barr and Nolan Gorman with home runs. You guys are well familiar with those guys. They have Vance Honeycutt in center field. Max Schumann. They must have traded away uh, win. Eric Fetty. Let's do one more player lock here on the major league level. And we'll do, let's do Butler since he's hot. This will be the last major league player lock when we hit the middle of the week when we play the Red Sox. I'll go down and do Kurtz and then we'll call it a day. It's freed against Fetty. Twenty game hit streak for Nick Gonzalez, are you kidding me? Here we go. Job Butler. Lace that single in the center field. Get that second inning started. Let's go. Come on, Adamas. All right, Jared, you're really struggling, dude. Double play. God damn it. There's win at short. He just had the day off, I guess. All right, Luke and Baker with a home run to make it one nothing Cardinals. Mm. That ball does a little wiggle at the end. Protecting the plate there. Come on, Butler. Ah, I flinched and hit the button. We've only got one hit. That was the hit that I got way back in the second inning. Jesus. Eric Fetty's throwing a one-hit shutout. We lost two nothing. Did we get more than one hit? Two hits is all we got. Wow. Free pitch great. Got nothing. 
All right, we have to do it in the sim. Let's go. Get to change up our scouts. All right, here we go. You are going central. You are going central. You are no longer discovering central. You are going to go. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Let's go outfield international. On the trade block. Uh, <laughs> we don't think we have enough to get crochet. <clears throat> Wouldn't mind Cabrera. Let's make it 1.8. Drew Jones. What do you want for Drew? Soderstrom, Mayo, Kurtz. Nah. All right, we moved into first place somehow. Look at all these teams separated by half a game. <laughs> and we lead the wild card. <laughs> Eighteen and eleven is the best record in baseball, so. Wow, very, very tight. Rooker at 321, 267. He's really slumped. Adamas up to 280. Butler up to 300. Crow's hitting 269. He's down. He's down. He's out of options. Can't send him down. To play Joe Adele every day. Or Ruiz. Let's do that. Move him to the bottom. Move everybody else up. Flip you. All right, against lefties, we're fine. Eight seven win slugfest. Newt Bar and Walker with home runs. Rooker hit three home runs. Dude is on fire. On fire. Astis got beat up. Bullpen. Okay. He's got eleven and twenty four hitting three thirty six. We're not even done with the first month. And he's not even leading for MVP because he's hitting 422. Zach's picking it up. Yori's kind of all over the place. Kurtz. Let's flip those two. And. Yeah, let's go with that. And we're going to go player lock with He's a lefty. Um, we got him a catcher. Let's see how Kurtz does against the lefty. I bought 
an Oregon Ducks t-shirt and a hat. And I bought a Tar Heels jersey or a t-shirt when I was coaching those teams at NWO. And now I get just flooded with emails from the Ducks and the Tar Heels to buy more shit. They're relentless. All right, lefty on lefty. There we go, that's down. Get that average up. Come on, Logan. Take him deep. The hold. All right. Our top two guys get on. Come on, Rodriguez. Two outs here. Big hit. Let's go. going all right rbi gets us on the board thank you thank you still one nothing here in the third there we go that's a rope maybe 112 miles an hour maybe fiori can park one and give us a three-run lead here one and two count with two outs come on man you can do this. Nope. High fly ball. Well, that's got a chance. Ooh. It carried farther than I thought it was going to. All right. Still one nothing. Bottom of six. Oh. Uh, says good contact. Sure didn't sound like it. All right, bases loaded, nobody out, one nothing game. Oh, I could not wait. He hung us, hung an 81 mile an hour changeup, chest high, and we were way out in front. There we go. That'll get us at least one. Boom. There we go. Two nothing lead. Fiori, can you do more? Got a sack fly. 3-1 lead. A 3-1 win. There we go. There we go. There we go. Helps the clutch. Got to drive in those runs. Dalton rushing played left field. Why is Moya behind the plate? Those two should be flipped. JT left after an inning and a third. I need to go check their lineups because that is not cool to have the outfielder catching, even though he has catching as a secondary position. Again, is injured. All right. Why is he catching? What the fuck is going on here? All right, off to the major league level. Bobby Miller, come on, Bobby. 10-4 win. Gave up a home run, three-run shot. Rooker with another home run. Butler with four more ribs. <laughs> we had four steals that game. Miller pitched, that's what I was hoping for, only three runs. We're 19-11. Half game lead on Kansas City for the best record. All right. Burns and Christian Scott. And we win 8-7. to seven. So pitching is just keeping us in games while our offense is going nuts. Butler and Soderstrom with home runs. Both with four ribs. Jeez. What a mess. All right. 
Manaya and Garcia, last day of the month, and we sweep the Mets. So we win three, six, seven, eight, nine out of 12, 10 out of 13, 12 out of 15. Give up a solo homer to Giancarlo Stanton, who's on the Mets now. Rosario with a home run. Garcia pitched great. All right, right at the end of the month. So let me save, and then we'll go look at the stats for both Major League and Minor Leagues. Let's see how we are through. All right, 21 and 11. <clears throat> Rooker, 352, slugging 711. Rosario down to 266. Butler, 357. We have two guys hitting 350. <laughs> Adamas with 26 ribs. Pete Crow's up to 264. Langoliers is up to 223. See regression and progression on these guys. Estes hitting 324, part time play. Soderstrom's up to 239, so he's getting better. Mayo's down. Kelnick is... Adele's up. No up or down there. God, our pitching is getting beat up. Except for the bullpen. Bullpen is pitching great. Other than Miller, and he's only thrown eight innings. Jones, 225. Hobbs, 270. Look at Rickles. Ben, she only has 48 hits per nine. Can't believe he's got less hits than innings pitch with that low of a hits per nine. Hinkle, 147 down in double A. He's only a 66 overall. I can't push him up. He's oh Brody's at 082. Jeez. 84. Wow. Our minor league pitching is doing way better than our major league pitching. And Cabrera. Rooker can't buy it. What the what the hell do we gotta do? <laughs> All right, let's look at the top prospects. We have uh, Kurtz at 9, Hobbs at 13, Yori's at 19. Got a bunch of A-ball guys that are probably A-potential skewing things there. So if you take out those four, Yori's in the top 15. This guy's an A, but he's a 56. We drafted Alexis. His hits and strike us per nine. Or he's pitching down in single A. He'd get toasted in double A. There's Lopez, the dude that can hit 322. Doesn't have a lot of power. Working on his defense and reaction. James Jones is another closer, and his walks per nine is going down. It's actually going down. Who's injured before we go? We have nobody. Spencer Strider's out two to three weeks. Zach Wheeler's out one to two months. T. Asker's out two to three weeks. Bradish, two to three weeks. Caballero, one to two months. Nothing too ridiculous. All right, we are two May 1st, so we are we are done with uh, this. And now we're going to go show you Batten. What we did 
with Labatt's Park. Park Labatt. <clears throat> So I live stream working on this and then I got rid of a whole bunch of stuff that I did. <laughs> but I did add a camera out here in center field that's shooting this way. Um, that is still there. Uh, redid this a little bit over here. Um, redid this whole area because I had this stuff going across. I didn't like it at all. Um, so we added a little monument center thing there. A little place to sit up there and watch the game. Added some concessions and junk over there. Put a big concession underneath the scoreboard. Over here, I extended. I put one more building so it goes three out. Put a much bigger scoreboard over there. Added the sign to this... Uh, to the light standard, redid this section over here. I could put stuff here, but I'm out of... Well, I, I do have memory now, so I can go back and add it. I was out of memory. I redid this whole thing. Because remember, you could walk underneath and there was a concession. <clears throat> Got rid of that. That was pointless. So we have this big staircase so you can walk up there, walk up over here. Another camera, camera well there, some tables. Added another score, scoreboard on top the lights uh, rework the upper deck just a little bit added some more luxury boxes on the bottom side there got the roof on there so here's our view from home plate and here's the nighttime view And here's our waterfall. So, there you go. Park Labatt. Labatt. So, holds 36,000. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we're done. I will be back um, either Thursday night or Friday day. Watch Discord. And uh, we're going to go uh, raid the Fantastic Duo because he's playing NCAA. So let's go go see Fam. And uh, I will catch you guys in a few days. You take care. Thank you again for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll post more news on the draft only thing um, as we get closer to me actually doing it. So. And get this raid ready to go and we will boogie on out of here and i will catch you guys in a few days where's fam at there he is all right raid has started when you guys are ready we'll head on over there i'm gonna give you thanks for watching and i will catch you over in fam's stream mm -hmm.